if I'm gonna dog sit you, you can't stare at me like that, okay? What? What does that look about? Look. I didn't ask for this. You got me into this mess, okay? I didn't ask for you to fetch this from Victor's house, okay? And I didn't ask to know that Brody might not be Liam's father. What am I supposed to do about it now, huh? Everything that belonged to Victor, what does that mean for us? I mean, we'll have to move, right? This is his house, so we'll have to move. Oh my God. And there's money, Mom. What are we gonna do about money? Oh. Hey! You're not listening to me. Well, I'm sorry. I happen to have a few things on my mind. Yes, tell me about it. Now that everything was given to Todd, we're, we're gonna end up on the street. I happen to make a very good living. Thank you very much. We don't need him to support us or anyone else you for know, that. You know that that's not what I meant. Hey, but this house is his. Listen, Todd told me that your well-being is the most important thing to him. I imagine that means that he wants us to stay here. Yeah, we'll see. Look, your father is not the prince of darkness like Jack makes him out to be. You have to stop listening to your brother. He just misses Victor. Victor a chance to be your father. Please do the same with Todd. I'll think about it. You know, I love Victor with all my heart, but there was a time I would have done anything for Todd. I fell for him hard, flat on my face. But he'll always be a part of me because he's a part of you. Promise me you'll give him a chance to be your father. Promise me you won't be as hard on him as Jack is. Jack? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you think that I was him. You don't belong here. Well, I do. Um, I own this place. You may not like it, but this is my newspaper. It's a media company that my dad gave to my grandma. But she's dead. Because of you. Yeah, I, I shot her, Jack. Right after she shot me. Right after she made me think that you and everybody else that I cared about was dead. It doesn't mean this is your newspaper again. Well, actually, it does. Irene left it to my sister. Aunt Vicky. No, your Aunt Tina, who in a really bizarre spasm of generosity gave me back everything that was mine to begin with. You're lying. No, I'm not. It's all right here in black and white. You can look at it for yourself. But I'll tell you something, Jack. I would love for you to still work here. Go to hell. Jack. Hey, Jack. Wait. Which Uncle Victor loved this, huh? For having something to hold over John's head. That's if it's even real. I mean, I can't tell Natalie unless I know for sure, right? What's that supposed to mean? I think a bark is just a bark. Oh. Hey, sweetie. Mom's being silly, isn't she? <laughs> yes, yeah, she's talking to a dog, and I'm silly. Especially since the dog probably doesn't have a uh, horse in this race. Yeah. Do you? It's not my call, Jess. Whether your sister's wedding goes off without a hitch or not, it's up to you. Wait, what's with you? What do you mean? You're usually decked out in your best power suit and heels by now. What's going on? Oh, I, you know what? I think I'm gonna work from home. I don't feel so great. Are you sick? Uh, maybe. It's probably just grief messing with me. Well, I can stay home if you want me to. Nice try. No, Mom, really, if you need anything. Oh, no, 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 no. I need for you to go to school and think about what I said about Todd. I will. But I have to grieve, too. 
you know, in my own way. And I can't figure out anything about Todd until I do. Does that make sense? Of course, me. Of course it does. Jack, I saw these headlines you came up with. You, you, you don't have to star. You're coming after me. They're, they're, they're insensitive, they're, they're inaccurate, they're outrageous. They're, they're borderline libelous, and they're perfect. They are exactly what this company needs to sell newspapers. And if I were you in your position at your age, I would be doing exactly the same thing. You might be my son after all. You may not like it, but it's a fact, Jack. And here's the thing, okay? I've been gone for like eight years, and it seems like everything has changed. All right, DVDs, done. CDs finished. Successful daytime television talk shows completely obsolete. And the printed word is, is, is dead. And I need someone like you, someone with your youthful perspective, to point this company in the right direction. Jack, come on, what do you say? Please, will you stick around? You really think I want to work with the bastard who killed my father? You seriously think I want to spend time here bonding with you? After you killed my father? You take my life, Victor. I take yours. You lied to the cops. I wasn't even there that night. Doesn't mean it isn't true. Charges were dropped. So? So? Jack, I'm your father. I'm your father. I was there when you were born. And then you gave me away. But I got you back. And I swore that I would do anything I could, I would spend the rest of my life trying to make it up to you. Here I am. I'm standing right here, and I'm begging you, please, give me the chance to make it up to you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be pressuring you about your father. It's okay. It's just, I feel like I've been so wrapped up in my own grief and suffering, missing Victor, trying to find out who killed him, that I've been neglecting you. Well, you're here, aren't you? Remember what we said after the funeral? We both miss Victor, so we're in this together. Do you think it'll make us feel better? What? Finding out who killed him. Oh, I don't know. But your uncle Tomas seems to think so. Police's trails run cold, so he wants to use his CIA contacts. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's gotta help. I hope so. Does he have any leads? Not yet. But he's got to turn up something. Anything is better than having no clue who did this to him. I thought about you every moment. Well, every moment that I was lucid enough to think, Jack. I, I wondered, you know, if you still had training wheels, if you were mouthing off to your teachers. Now look at you. You're practically a grown man. And I missed all of it. And I'm, I'm asking you for the honor of getting to know you. You want to get to know me? How about we get to know you first? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't kill my father. Look me in the eye and swear to me that you didn't kill him. I swear to you. And this is the truth. That I did not kill your father. Did not kill your father, Jack. I need for you to believe that. I don't. I am buying this crap. The guy's even crazier than I thought he was. You okay? <laughs> oh my god. It's you.
You won this round. I mean, yeah, I may have killed you. Jack hates my guts. He has good reason to. Thank you.